Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble slash Moan About the Royal Mint. It's been a bit quiet on that front of late, we haven't really had anything to say about their shortcomings, but don't you worry, they've been saving up for a real goodie. Remaking History, that's the tagline on the British Monarchs Collection homepage, and that's exactly what they've done today by discontinuing the series. That's right, they have cancelled it. It's not commercially viable, is what they say. We're going to have a look at the communication that they sent out about this series, and I'm going to share some of my thoughts, which are going to be quite choice, I would like to think, how I feel about this situation, and also how I feel about buying anything again from the Royal Mint. I'm done. I'm going to say that right now at the top end of the video. I'm not ever going to buy another product from the Royal Mint. They're going to treat their customers this way and leave them to hang out and dry, cancel the series halfway through, not even halfway through, a third of the way through. And <laughs> this is the fun bit in the email. We'll get to it in a moment. But they say they want to offer a solution that recognizes my loyalty to this collection and the goodwill gesture that I've been offered for my spend on this series is completely laughable. So uh, yeah, I'm done. And we're going to talk about that. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. It'd be really interesting to see if anyone down in that comment section is happy or not about this, because whether you're collecting them or not, it sets, I think, such a dangerous precedent. And I cannot stress highly enough how you should never buy from the Raw Mint again. I'm done. I've given them so much leeway and uh, latitude on all of their shortcomings over the years. But this is it. I'm done. So what have they said? We are contacting you regarding the Royal Mint's British Monarchs collection. We know that collectors have been awaiting further news on this collection since the George II coin was released on August 2023. As a loyal customer, we wanted to inform you directly that we have recently made the difficult decision to discontinue this product range. Each year, the Royal Mint undertakes a full analysis of sales and demand across every denomination and design of coin that we produce. Unfortunately, due to the decline in interest and changing market conditions, the British Monarchs Collection is no longer commercially viable for us to continue. We would like to assure you that this decision has not been taken lightly and we have explored several other options. We understand this is disappointing news and we sincerely apologise for any inconvenience this may cause. We are committed to offering our customers premium products and services and we want to offer a solution that recognises your loyalty to this collection. We would be grateful if you could contact your Mintmark account manager at your convenience to discuss this matter with you in more detail. Thank you for your continued support. And there you go, Karina Vossi is the Head of Sales and Customer Services. Well, a lot to unpack in that email. First up, not everybody got the same email. So this last section here where they say we're committed to offering our customers premium products, etc., etc., they want to offer a solution. Not everybody got that. I did, but not everybody else did. And there's a whole bunch of different people. Oh gosh, loads of new comments here on the Silver Forum, but loads of people in this uh, thread on the Silver Forum. Here we go. This is what somebody else got. They didn't get that. They did not get that part. So nothing for them. But what did I get offered? Well, I managed to contact my account manager and I was told, I mean, I could dig it all out of my records, but I was told on my call that I'd spent a total of £3,375 on the series to date. There's been eight coins. I've been collecting a couple of the different denominations of silvers. I was offered a two ounce silver coin. A two ounce silver coin. That's what, spot price £50. Let's call it £70 to be generous. £35 an ounce for something a bit premium. I don't know what it would be, but they didn't even get that far because... I had to ask them, was it a joke? They were offering, say, cut the difference, a £60 coin for £3,375 worth of spend. Quite frankly, from my perspective, anything less than a full refund, take the coins back, give me my money back. Anything short of that is, is not acceptable. I don't think they're ever going to do that because... They'd set an incredibly dangerous precedent. They'd open the floodgates for everyone else to do the same, and it would cost them probably hundreds of thousands of pounds. But um, quite frankly, I think they kind of deserve it. So essentially what that's saying to me as a customer, and bear in mind, I'm a customer that spent a lot of money with the Raw Mint over the years, and I'm in this Mint Mark. For those that don't know, Mint Mark is the VIP program 
of the Royal Mint. So you once you've spent a certain amount of money with them, you get an account manager and you get uh, someone that you can talk to about the coin releases and help you get the ones that you want. And um, yeah, to be offered literally £60 worth out of 3300 it's about 2% of what I've spent. It's just so, so insulting. It really is. Um, so yeah, that's that's not good. You know, we're saying here uh, it's not commercially viable to continue. So fine, okay, the coin series isn't commercially viable. You don't have to make all the coins. I guess, you know, we're, we'll have to address the elephant in the room here is that the, uh, the Raw Mint, you know, they're making coins. I guess they're losing money on this series, so they don't want to continue with it. They're not going to make it. We can't really complain about that in certain ways, but the way they treat their customers about this situation is just appalling. So, you know, they're saying so many corporate things in here. We are committed to offering our customers premium products and services. No, you're not, because you just cancelled one of the premium products and services that you were offering to your customers. And a solution that recognises loyalty. So they recognise my loyalty of spending £3,375. They recognise 60 quid's worth of my loyalty. So, yeah, okay, fine. All that says to me is they don't care about us as customers. Uh, even customers like myself who've spent God knows how much over the years with them. That's at an end now. I won't be going back. I don't foresee any reason why I would. And I don't see why anybody else out there should buy any coins from the Royal Mint if they're just going to completely cancel the series uh, a whim because they don't want to and they didn't, they're not making enough money about it. Um, you know, if they're going to create a coin series and they come out with it and they put all this gump about how it's going to be a 21 coin series along the way, uh, remaking history on all of this, you know, it's, it's going to bring people in and they're going to want to buy it. And then when they're disappointed at the other end, and I, listen, I'm really lucky because I didn't buy any of the golds. Not that I could afford the golds, but if there's someone out there who's got eight of these two, uh, one ounce gold coins, they're going to be absolutely livid. So I feel myself fortunate that I'm really only on the hook for, well, 3,375 is my spend. Of course, there is some precious metal value content in the coins that I've purchased. And I would imagine they'll get something on the secondary market when maybe I stick them all on eBay if I'm not going to get a refund from the raw mint. But I'm going to take a loss. I can't see myself getting my money back on this. And I can't even continue collecting it. So what's the point? And why would I buy anything from the raw mint ever again if this is how they treat their customers? And um, so it's a complete, absolute lack of understanding about how to deal with customers. All right, let's have a look and see what other people have been saying here on the forum. So a lot of people didn't get this little sentence in the email. Um, so here's a really good one. Tim SK, uh, I know he'll be watching this video. So he's very outraged. He's been putting money into this and it, you know, it never occurred to him that the Royal Mint themselves, whoops, um, would, where are we? There we go back up to it. There we go. That the Raw Mint themselves would cancel the series and um, they have. So, really, really, really bad. What have other people said? So people obviously feeling for him, jumped through the hoops into the first coin to get all the ones they wanted. It would have been an incredible collection. That wasn't going to be for everyone. I get, I get that. But I think it was great. It's better than any of the other coins that they've been producing of late, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's it's really bad. It's really bad. I can't say how bad it is without saying expletives, quite frankly. But what's worse is <clears throat> to be offered such pittance for it, um, which I think is hilarious. So, <sighs> right, well, I will fight this as much as I can. I have got contacts at the Raw Mint, which I'm still yet to hear back from. I will be complaining heavily about this situation and the absolute joke of a goodwill gesture that's been offered to me. Um, I would say if you have bought these coins directly from the Raw Mint and you didn't get this little clause in your, e in your email, or whether you didn't even get the email, you need to contact the Raw Mint call or email the customer services. Their details are here. If you don't hear back from customer services, you can go forward to a further complaint to head of customer services. It wouldn't take a rocket scientist to work out what Karina's email is at the Royal Mint. 
Um, so you could potentially try and email her directly. I know I will be to find out what's going on and what could happen. Um, if you can try and get any kind of compensation for your your troubles on this, then it's worth trying to do. Um, but I'm going to be making complaints about this and I, I'm done. It feels a bit of an end of an era, but I'm the, I don't have any regrets about it. I don't have a single regret about saying the Royal Mint have lost me as a customer for good now. Um, you know, whether or not they come out with some really good looking stuff, some special editions, fancy sovereigns, whatever it is, that bra that back has been broken by a thousand cuts and straws. And this isn't even a straw that's broken, it's a sledgehammer for me that's broken it. And I feel very sad about it because I am embarrassed by our National Mint. I really am. I really am embarrassed by it. Um, the only kind of content that I will ever now create again about the Royal Mint is something criticising anything I see that is bad. So if they come out... Uh, there's even, so here's, here's the thing that we need to clarify. So I don't want anyone to run away and worry about things. But um, here we go. So there are some people thinking that the Tudor Beasts might be the next one to be cancelled. Um, some people saying there are murmurings that it's been stopped. I don't know if things are overdue yet. I mean, this is the kind of mentality that we've got right now. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I will follow up about the Tudor Beasts. I'll see if I can get any kind of inkling on whether that one's cancelled, because that would be, uh, in my opinion, a better candidate to have been cancelled than this Monarchs collection. But alas, no, this is the one that's gone. So thanks for all, Mint. You're a star. You're great. You're not so great. And you know what? I was actually looking forward to working with some of the people at the Royal Mint to discuss some of the upcoming things that they've got going. They were telling me that they've got some stuff about um, their milk spotting problems. That's out the window now. I'm not going to give them time of day, anything at all. That's how I feel. So thanks, Royal Mint. And thank you all for watching and listening to me ramble for this long. It's nice to be able to voice my uh, annoyances about them. So, uh, yeah. Hit the thumbs up button if you like me and my content. Hit the comment section if you want to tell the Royal Mint where to shove it, because I know I do. Thanks all. We'll see you on the next video.